Hi there, Dr. David Lim. Today we'll be talking about how to treat red birthmarks. Well, these are the most common birthmarks and I'll show you how it's done using various lasers. Hi, Dr. David Lim here. Um, hey, um, one of my favorite patients, Brady here. <laughs> I've known her. It's not because she's pretty, it's, uh, it's because we make massive changes with the light and her birthmark. I've known her for, oh, I must have been what, two years now? Yeah. At, least, at least two years? Yeah. yeah, since she was 16, she's now 18. She's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> um, single? Yeah. All the guys? No. Okay, so all you guys, she's single, so there you go. No, but what we're doing seriously today, we're actually <laughs> helping her with her birthmark. Um, and she's got what's known as a port wine stain. I'll show you the before and afters. This is an ongoing process, isn't it, Brady? Yeah. Yeah. And um, we've done at least about eight treatments over the last two yeah, years, at yeah, least, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, each treatment hurts, yeah. Yeah. But what's the favorite part of it? The green whistle. The green whistle. There you have it. Um, I'll show you the green whistle because that really works. Uh, and this is how I actually uh, numb the pain. And once you have the green whistle, everything. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I mean, uh, treating port wine stains, it does hurt. Uh, but you can see with the green whistle, it makes it very tolerable. And the breedy usually is in La La Land. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty you just much. don't come here for the green whistle, do you? No, no, no you <laughs> come here for treatment, do you? Yeah. Uh, see, she's just not a drug addict. She's actually fine. So that's good. Thanks for that, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we are um, with the green whistle. Uh, first of all, I don't condone this recreationally. <laughs> So drugs are bad for you guys, um, but we do need drugs for medical procedures. So this is the green whistle. It's basically uh, Penthrox, and it works well. Hey, yeah. So you'll see how well it works, and we're going to start the laser very shortly. With the Panthrox? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, let's go from this angle here. Good. Ready? Just relax here. I'll count. I'll do a couple of the ones just around your shoulders around yeah, here. Yeah. Because yeah. you've got a formal coming up. Yes. And we want to wear. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's go from here. Let's go to twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you can stop filming now. 40. 40 shots, are you serious? 40 shots? Okay, cool. Let's do this together. <laughs> okay, 40, I'll, I'll break it up to 220s, okay? All right, all right. Here we go. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, okay. forty. Okay. So, okay, so another 20, yeah? Another 20 and then we finish? 25. 25? You sure 25? 30. No, no, let's go for 25. 30. Okay, go for 30. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You know, you absolutely blue black. I'm absolutely seeing like yep. double. You're seeing double? Yeah, but right it's... Now. Okay, that's okay. So, hey, look, on a serious note, guys, so I'm going to take Bree to the recovery room. And she's gonna sleep for about half an hour after this. I'm and not use gonna some sleep, Rob. No, I'm gonna sleep for like one minute with an ice pack. With an ice pack, absolutely. That's how we do it. Okay, hang tight, guys. Still taking some more. Take it with me. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it with you. Let's go. So look, that's Just that's hot, the end point. Hot, hot uh, box it in like a. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I, can I look at you? Can I look at your neck? I'll show you because I want to oh, have, okay. have a look at it. So that's the end point. So you can see I didn't go, um, I, I went really hard. Lots of bruising, but you've done lots already. You've, yeah. Why is it awesome? Just because. Because <laughs> you had I the didn't, pent rocks? I didn't. <laughs> Did you feel much at all? Did you remember much of it at all? No. It's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It helps so much. Like, I can remember the pain. It's like a hot rubber band yeah. like it just it hurts so much but this helps a lot a lot yeah <laughs> and then you can't remember it after that hey no it's okay. just, everything's really blurry cool yeah my favorite patient i'll see you next time <laughs> okay. So what are the before and afters like? These are real patients. So in Breedy's case, she has an extensive port wine stain. This is before 
and this is after it's about after eight treatments um her port wine stain extends all the way from the chest all the way to the back so extensive port wine stains you can see the extent from her neck all the way down and after about eight treatments a massive difference uh, some port wine stains require less um, six treatments in this case uh, to achieve this result um, and this one even less this is only four treatments before this port wine stain um, really faded uh, many more port wine stains in the before and after. Sometimes we have mixed uh, malformations and I have to use two different types of lasers to get this kind of improvement. So guys, thanks for watching that video on um, birthmark removal. I do one video every Saturday morning. Um, look, for more information on how to remove your birthmark, whether it be a brown birthmark or a red birthmark, go to the website below, uh, lasersandlifts.com.au. Uh, you'll find a lot more information there. If you like this channel, subscribe. I do one video, one educational video, uh, everything from lasers, skincare, uh, all the way to it, what's new in dermal fillers and uh, skin rejuvenation. So if you like it, uh, subscribe. One video every Saturday. I'm also on Instagram under Dr. Daffin Lim. So once again, educational together with fun videos every week. Uh, all you guys have a really safe Easter. This is a Easter long weekend for us and uh, we've got the Friday all the way to Monday off. So what do I do on an Easter long weekend? Basically spend time with the dogs, family and do what normal people do. Wash their cars and keep up with work. See you guys. Bye.